Rotting away in an abandoned factory lies the first Indian sports car. A car which Top Gear described as proper supercar stuff. In a scandal that rocked the country, Mumbai police raided six different locations, seized dozens of unfinished cars, and arrested multiple key figures. The elaborate scheme they laid out is one of the largest automotive forgery scams ever uncovered, involving hundreds of millions of rupees. But the man behind it is no mastermind. In fact, he might even be innocent. DC Design was named for its founder, Dilip Chagria. Apparently obsessed with cars from a young age, he would go on to graduate from the Art Center College of Design in Pasadena and worked briefly at General Motors. But this career wouldn't last long. In his words, GM left him feeling stifled by bureaucracy. So he returned home to India, where he would found his own company. Using a factory inherited from his father, Chabria opened a design firm that built custom cars and luxury vans. And thanks to a few wealthy clients in Bollywood, his brand hit the big screen and quickly gained recognition throughout the country. By 2015, he was boasting of 45% annual growth. It was around this era that DC decided to mass produce their own exotic car, the DC Avanti. Prototypes were shown as early as 2012 with the official debut occurring at a private event three years later. The Avanti didn't always seem to be built on lies and fraud. In fact, it was reportedly built on a steel space frame at their headquarters outside Mumbai. The suspension and ride height were tuned specifically for rough Indian roads, and it had a drivetrain sourced from Renault. The 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder makes about 250 horsepower and was fitted with a standard 6-speed manual. The Avanti weighs only 1,580 kilograms thanks to a set of lightweight body panels, which DC says are made from carbon fiber. So despite the low power, it can still go 0 to 100 in about 6 seconds. But clearly, not quite the performance you would expect from modern supercars. DC made up for it with the polarizing exterior design and the reasonable price tag, rumored to have been about 37 lakh. By the way, India's main currency is called the rupee. One lakh denotes 100,000 rupees and one crore is equal to 10 million. 37 lakh is thus 3,700,000 rupees or 0.37 crore, roughly 45,000 US dollars. For a while, things appeared to be going well for DC's new Avanti supercar. The factory pumped out dozens of them every year and they even attracted the attention of a Top Gear article in 2018. Although reviewers admitted the build quality wasn't on the same level as other exotics, they still praised the attempt and the affordable price tag. The company even had plans for a second generation based on a fully electric drivetrain. But it would never come to be, because in the winter of 2020, everything came crumbling down. On December 28th, the Crime Intelligence Unit of the Mumbai Police Force arrested Chabria on fraud charges. Their findings would shock the car world. According to official reports, DC Design had registered multiple cars with matching serial numbers in different states. This was discovered when the police were tipped that a car with fake registration was parked outside the Taj Mahal Hotel. After seizing the Black Avanti, which belonged to a man named Indermal Romani, they found it shared the same VIN with another Avanti registered over 2,000 kilometers away. This was allegedly done so Chabria could pose as a customer and receive multiple loans on his own cars from non-banking financial companies, or NBCFs. These NBCFs, which reportedly included brands like BMW Financial Services, would provide Chabria with numerous loans on each car, averaging 42 lakh apiece. The cars would then be sold to actual customers, allowing DC Design to profit several times over from each one they produced. Of the 127 cars DC Design had made, 90 of them were allegedly given duplicate registrations to obtain these loans, worth an estimated 40 crore. However, DC's legal problems began long before this. Years prior, Indian cricket player Dinesh Karthik sued the brand for failing to return his deposit after a test drive left him dissatisfied. 
More recently, in January 2021, comedian Kapil Sharma claims the company failed to deliver a custom luxury van he had ordered back in 2017, a van which is rumored to have cost him 5.7 crore. Phony serial numbers, fraudulent loans, withholding customer deposits. If you think this is as bad as the accusations get, well, you'd be dead wrong. Chabria was charged with further crimes in 2021, this time by the Economic Offenses Wing. In Dermal Romani, the owner of the car which initially sparked this controversy, returned to accuse DC Design of cheating his used car parts company out of 25 crore, an amount that included parts which were never paid for, loans, and interest. Dilip Chabria, his sister, his wife, his son, and his son's wife were all detained for their alleged roles in this case. Including that 25 crore from this car parts scandal, the 40 crore from the fraudulent loans, and the 5.7 crore from the comedian's van, Chabria is now out over 700 million rupees, or more than 8.5 million US dollars. Despite all these hefty accusations, Chabria has repeatedly denied all criminal allegations brought against him. In fact, he argues that his business associates conspired with the Mumbai police to frame him. In a letter of complaint to the chief minister in May of 2021, he named former partner Kiran Kumar and the now disgraced police officer Sachin Vaze among those responsible for inventing this scandal. Kumar was a majority stakeholder and director at DC Design prior to the allegations, and Chabria says he had filed a grievance against Kumar on November 12th of 2020, following a disagreement they had regarding company affairs. This was suspiciously just six and a half weeks before his arrest. Even more questionable is Kumar's relationship with Romani. Apparently, Kumar was the original owner of the seized Avanti, which he then sold to Romani in 2019. Romani claims he only became aware of the VIN fraud when his son was pulled over in the Black Avanti a few weeks prior to the arrest. Chabria also claims Vaze and the police force had threatened him, attempted to extort him of 25 crore, harassed him, and forced him to hand over 25 lakh, saying if he didn't pay, his entire family would die behind bars. I was extorted and forced to pay 25 lakhs within 10 minutes. Otherwise, we are going to arrest your family members. Vaze has since been dismissed from his position in the police force and imprisoned on serious criminal charges relating to public safety, as well as, you guessed it, operating a mass extortion racket. The Mumbai police is undergoing a turmoil. As for the disgruntled customers, DC argues that cricketer Karthik had signed an agreement to purchase the car and therefore could not reasonably expect to be returned his deposit. In the case of Comedian Sharma's luxury van, Chabria says they built it but were unable to schedule delivery due to Sharma not finalizing details regarding the vehicle's paint job. Furthermore, DC allegedly demanded an extra 12 lakh in payment for storing the unfinished van for so long. Regardless of whether Chabria is innocent, you might think he'd be discouraged from making cars for a while. But after the fall of DC Design, he quickly came back with a new company, called DC2. He's now building this attractive open-air roadster called the California. Based on the E64 BMW 6 Series, it features a split cockpit and scissor doors, and it's already received several glowing reviews. Those who know Dilip Chabria describe him as enthusiastic, at heart a true automotive geek. Is he a cold-hearted scammer, using duplicate VINs to defraud NBCFs? Or is Chabria simply an innocent car enthusiast, framed by resentful business partners and extorted by a corrupt police force? We may never know the answer, but Dilip Chabria continues to make waves with his new brand as well as his recent appearances in court as the fallout for his case continues. The ordeal has now been painted as a money laundering case. Nearing his 70s, it seems that Chabria never could escape the bureaucracy he so despised in his days at General Motors. Nonetheless, his career has left an undeniable mark on the Indian supercar market, or as some may call it, an indelible stain. Thanks for watching.